going on guys we are doing another video today and it's gonna be on hydro dipping as you probably noticed in the title or the thumbnail so what you're gonna need is a bucket or like a uh, rectangle size box some spray paint two different colors white and black is what I'm using but anyways so you're gonna Pretty much fill the bucket with water, as I'll show you in uh, the video later. And then you're taking this, this, the spray paint, spray it in the bucket, take that spray paint, spray it in the bucket on the other side, and it's supposed to make this swirly effect. And then you take your object, which I'm using scooter forks, not the things you eat with. Put it in there. You shake it and you pull it out, and they're supposed to come out as swirly design. So, it's currently raining outside. I'll show you. It's rained like this for three whole weeks. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, it's gonna, it's not supposed to be nice, but. Hopefully we can get a break from this rain. But anyways, see you guys tomorrow. Or the next day, or whenever. Whoa. We're in the same day. Oh yeah, that's right, because I have to sand the floor. But before you spray paint, slash higher dip anything, you want to rub it with like some sandpaper, just so it's a little rougher, so that the paint has something more to stick to. I'm gonna sand these, and if you have a, like an old piece of grip tape, or like something like this that I have in my garage, which I will go get real quick. I'm doing this outside, just cause I don't wanna get any spray paint inside. So, uh, yeah, I don't recommend doing any of this inside the house. If you do, you're, uh, your fault if you get everything all painted. But I'm going to do this really quick. Make sure you get it good, too, because you really want something for that paint to stick with. You don't have to do it super well, but just get it enough. Anyway guys, so this is what it's supposed to look like when you're done. It almost looks raw, but uh, yeah, and your hands get really dirty. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Fork. <laughs> okay guys, so we're back, and uh, it's the next day. It's Friday, and uh, first, before we get into hydro dipping, I'm going to do a first coat of just black. Just because I don't want any of it to be like gray. So, yeah, we're gonna go do that really quick. We're spray painting fork now. Okay guys, so I just finished spray painting them, and uh, oh, I just missed a spot, but anyways, you just want to kind of fill them up to like right about here, because if you fill all the way up to the top with paint, you're going to have a little trouble getting the clamp or SES on, so... Okay guys, so that's what it's supposed to look like. Um, so I just did one coat, just cause it's just kinda gonna be like, uh, I don't know, just one coat. So, I'm gonna let that sit for about 20, uh, 20, 15 to 20 minutes, and then uh, you should be good. Um, uh, and then we will get to the fun part. 
which is hydro dipping. But look at this, guys. The sun is coming out. Okay guys, so right now I'm going to set a timer, if I can get this thing to focus, okay there we go. So I'm going to set it to, um, let's go, let's just go with 15 minutes, just because, uh, it's just one coat, so shouldn't really matter that much, but yeah, we're going to start that right now. Okay guys, so while you're waiting, you're going to want to fill up your container with some water. So, I'm going to turn on the hose here. I've done this before, but I'm just going to put as much water into this container as I think. And these containers are super cheap. They're like, I got mine at like Lowe's and it was like, uh, $9, I think. This is very low. But... <laughs> Hold on. Forever, whatever you hydrate the thing, you're probably gonna wanna fill it up more for whatever item that you're filling up. But for this, you don't have to make it too deep. Okay, now I'm just gonna wait till those fork dries a little bit more. And then I got my white paint. Make sure when you guys do this, shake up your paint real nice and well because you want the consistency to be as good as possible. So, yeah. I'll see you when my timer gets to zero, which it is at. So this is how much water I put in. Yeah, this is how deep my hand goes. So, okay guys, we have five seconds until my timer goes off. There we go. So, what you guys are gonna wanna do is shake these up for a little bit. And then, once you get them shaken up, like I said, yesterday you just spray them in like that but I want to shake them up a little bit more so I'm spraying the white in first before the black Good. but we'll get back to it so you just want to do this and I'm gonna take the white or the black I mean do the same thing like Okay guys, we're gonna dip the fork. Oh god. Don't have anything on your fork before you do this. Okay. Here it goes, guys. Oh! Yo! It kinda only got on one side, but that looks dope. The other side, just yeah, to sure. try it. Yo! Kind of globby, but guys, that works so well. But yeah, it's kind of globby. Yeah. Okay, my brother's holding it now, but that's what it turned out to look like. It looks so sick, guys. If you follow exactly what I did, you guys will have something that looks exactly like this. But maybe just in a different color. Scale 1 to 10. 8. It's globby. You guys heard it. It's a little globby, but, you know, it still looks super sick. How much was this? 10 bucks, I think. This is a good DIY for 10 bucks. Okay, guys. John says he has a better way to do it than me. We're gonna see. His method is just spraying it straight down. Or doing that, whatever he's doing.
Yo. That looks sick. <laughs> Not all globby, guys, but it looks sick. But I kind of like mine. Just because it's like, that's really dope, but like, Hopefully I like you didn't do it. <laughs> no, 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 I like mine because it's like more black than it is white. I kind of like how mine's more black yeah. than it is white. I actually might do that to my forks, my actual forks, and my clamp. Like your SES? Yeah. Okay, guys, so John's going to record me really quick cleaning it up because it's not that hard, guys. Okay, guys, all you have to do is literally grab it with your hand. And it just, it's like, what is it? It's like, it's like <laughs> school lunch bags, kind of. It's really easy. Like stuff. Not Ziplocs, but the other ones. It's really easy. Just got it all over my hands. Kind of a bad idea. But, then, you walk over the woods. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it didn't really fling <laughs> off like it. We <laughs> <laughs> <My> will <old> snag. <laughs> okay, it's not really flinging off like I thought it would be, but anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. If you want to see any more spray paint tutorials, me and my brother do spray painting all the time. It's just in our nature, you know, dude. But anyways, we'll see you guys later.